Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mr. Smith, and I'm just giving our science students a little tutorial of some of our assignments that we've given out. We just want to make sure all of you at home or who are coming to school have the opportunity to see and understand exactly what we're asking you to do on each assignment. So these are videos you can watch to help walk you through what you need to do to complete missing assignments or to catch up on work that maybe you've missed if you were at home sick or quarantined. Again, this is my third hour science, so you're going to get a teacher view, but always go to classwork to find the assignments that are assigned for class. And so today we are looking at um, the volume measurement gizmo. So I'm going to click on that assignment here, and this will give the teacher view of the instructions that you have. For you all, you'll have a document that shows up, which each of you have to fill out. But we'll also be using a gizmo in this. So I'm going to click on this link to take me to our gizmos page. Every time we use gizmos, we're going to log in. And hopefully on your Chromebook, just like on my computer, your login information is saved. And you can just click log in. If you ever have issue with logging into gizmos, you can actually ask your teachers. And they have all of your password information to help you log back in if you're having a problem in class. I'm going to click on one of my seventh grade science classes to open up this gizmo and we're looking at measuring volume so i'm going to launch that so we can actually see it this one um, was somewhat confusing for lots of you so the first thing i'm going to do is tell you what all these things are on this page this is called a pipette this is a two millimeter pipette and when they ask you for it that's where you find it it starts out in here just like everything else Beakers are these objects right here. Um, the taller objects are called graduated cylinders. So it's asking about a beaker. It's asking about this object here or this one right here, right? Um, and so this is a 400 milliliter beaker because it holds up to 400 milliliters. And we could put that back on the shelf. And this is a 250 milliliter beaker because it holds 250 milliliters. And we put that back on the shelf. These three objects here are what we call graduated cylinders. And they're graduated cylinders because they, one, graduate. I'm going to line them up so they're right because, you know, you got to be nerdy like that. So, but they are in different sizes. And so they are graduated, 25 milliliter, 50 milliliter, and 100 milliliters. And they also show us how the volume changes when we fill each one up with the lines that are on it. So. This is a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder, a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, and a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. Um, and so we are gonna use these in this lab to measure the amount of volume of water in these objects. So we can fill these up if we want by just living the layer. And when you let go of the lever, it stops filling it up. And so this is, a graduating cylinder that has water in it and we are looking for uh, what does this volume actually look like and so I can uh, take this magnifying glass whenever water is in a graduated cylinder and I can zoom in and so that's what this does is it gives us a view of the volume if you notice this is not a straight line it is a curve which is one of the questions that you'll find on your actual document that you're filling out and we measure the volume by the base of the curve. So um, this little line here is about where that is, okay? Lots of the other questions you're going to have actually ask you what these lines represent. And so there's a large line, there's a medium line, and there's a small line. And so if this is 10 milliliters, I need to understand that each line is a measurement in that step of going from 10 to 15. And so these medium sized lines, there's one, two, three, four, and then would be five. So each of those would represent one milliliter. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Because of that, we now know that these smaller lines are halfway between each of those. So that would be a half of a milliliter. And so this would be 0.5. So we could say 10, 10.5, 11, 11.5, 12, 
12.5 and so on. If we wanted to know the volume of this measurement right here, we would measure that 10, 11, 12, 13.5, 13 13.5 milliliters. That's the volume in this current experiment. We can also set that aside and we can follow the instructions to use these tools. I don't know if this will actually work in terms of letting me suck out water with the pipette. So what we're going to do instead is actually put these on the shelf. And then I'm going to show you how this works with a beaker. So I can take a beaker and fill it up with some water, right? And then if I need to, I could maybe take a graduated cylinder, take my dropper here, if it'll let me move it, which it's not. Well, one, this is how you pour water out. Okay, so I need to pour some water out. I think I'm pouring water out there. It's just not letting me do that. Oh, there we go. I could put it in here. Click on the black part and it will suck water up. Right now I can move this away and I can actually put it over this graduated cylinder and click on the black part again and let water out. All right, so that was a full pipette. And now I can actually look and see if I need to. How much was that? How much uh, volume can that pipette actually hold? And when I look at this, I can tell that that's actually two, one, two and a half milliliters of water. So that's a full pipette holds two and a half milliliters of water. This is how you use each of the tools on this gizmo to actually um, discover what the questions are asking you in your assignment. There's one more tool that it has and we actually ask you for screenshots. So if you use a screenshot tool, you just click on tool, find screenshot, it gives you one, and then you'll right click on this image and you can click copy image, copy. Um, and then now I can actually go in if I'd like to, and that's a wrong document. I can actually click on my document here and I can actually paste these pictures into the document, which is something that it asks you to do at the very bottom of the experiment. So we're hoping that you answer all these um, and you can see here where it says to place the magnifier over the water line, open the tools, use the camera, right click, copy, and then paste into the box. But there is no box. So what we're going to do is we're just going to paste into the document. So I can paste the picture. Boom. And now I can actually shrink it. I can make it fit the screen. Um, and I want to do that without making it disappear, which there it is. And then this option here where it says wrap text is very important to organize your document. If you click wrap text in any Google Doc, it will now allow me to move this picture around without getting in the way of my text. And so now it fits on there without screwing up everything. And so there's my picture. Um, and then you will just continue to answer your questions by following instructions. Hopefully this video helps you use the gizmo to accomplish what you need. And now you know how to take pictures and copy them into your document on your assignment. Hopefully this helps some of you complete your assignment fully and do better. Also feel free to go back and do extra work if you didn't do all of these things in this assignment. And then tell your teacher so that they can give you the best grade possible. Remember your grade shows us what you know. And so you, in order to show us what you know, you have to do what we ask. And so sometimes that means we need extra help. And these videos hopefully help you out in accomplishing those goals. See you, Raiders. Good luck with your assignments. And I'll talk to you later.